Adports completes acquisition of Tbilisi Dry Port, owns 60% stake the state-of-the-art, rail-linked, and custom-bonded intermodal logistics hub in Georgia is scheduled to begin operations in October-August, 2024. Global Trade, Logistics, and Industry Facilitator Adports Group has completed its acquisition of the Tbilisi Dry Port, becoming the majority stakeholder with a 60% ownership stake. This strategic move enhances the group's role in the Middle Trade Corridor, a vital connection between Asia and Europe. The state-of-the-art, rail-linked, and custom-bonded intermodal logistics hub in Georgia is scheduled to begin operations in October. The Tbilisi Dry Port will play a crucial role in linking manufacturing centers in Western Asia with consumer markets in Eastern Europe leveraging a network of sea and dry ports across Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia and Tar one quarter Kai. Strengthening the global supply chain of dealers is Zaid Al Shamsi, regional CEO of Adports Group. This agreement underscores Adports Group's unwavering commitment to strengthening global supply chains. We recognize the growing influence of the Middle Corridor on global trade and are fully focused on successfully operating this important logistics hub, which enhances connectivity between Western Asia and Eastern Europe and positions Adports Group at the forefront of global trade. The new logistics hub is strategically located between the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea. At the heart of the Middle Corridor, it integrates multiple facilities, including a container freight station, warehouses, and a car storage park, serving as a critical point of entry, exit, and regional transit for manufacturers, shippers, and consignees. The project boasts direct railway links to Tar One Quarter Kai and the Georgian ports of Poti and Badiumi further connecting to European Black Sea ports in Bulgaria and Romania. Tbilisi Dry Port Development in three phases The development will be executed in three phases. The initial phase is expected to achieve a handling capacity of 96,500 TES, along with 10,000 square meters of warehouse space and a car storage yard. Upon completion of the third phase, the project will have a handling capacity of 286,000 TES, 100,000 square meters of warehouse space, and a significantly expanded car storage yard. Additional land plots have been secured for future development as needed. The Middle Corridor is considered the shortest trade route between Asia and Europe, covering approximately 7,000 kilometers with a transit time of 10 to 15 days. In comparison, the Northern Corridor spans about 10,000 kilometers over land requiring 15 to 20 days, while the Southern Ocean route stretches approximately 20,000 kilometers, necessitating a sea voyage of 45 to 60 days. The Middle Corridor is anticipated to see substantial growth in container volumes, potentially reaching 1.9 million tes by 2040. If you like this video click on like button and if you have any comments provide in comments box. If you still not subscribed channel, please subscribe. Also click on bell icon so that you will my video notification immediately.